All right, this is uh, Team Lucky, and this is our um, founder's analysis of the Mindset Movement. Okay, so Mindset Movement is an upcoming not-for-profit organization uh, that is associated with children with mental health. Uh, some statistics from the World Health Organization, uh, one out of four individuals deal with mental or diagnosable mental disorders, and 48% of those who struggle do not even seek the help that they need. Uh, Mindset Movement uh, would like to de decrease those percentages, presenting a new way of reaching out uh, college age students. Um, so they use an online based um, kind of like it's not like uh, outreach uh, from patient to patient, not necessarily the the normal uh, like doctor to patient or even just like pills or other ways of people coping with their mental disorders. It's really uh, to see other stories and to build yourself from other people's experiences and help you get through your own. Um, quick origin of the business, uh, Caitlin Scheffler. Uh, she herself dealt with mental disorder in, uh, when she was in college, uh, did some drinking, um, depression, anxiety, like kind of the normal college uh, experience, really, uh, because, you know, 60% of college students are deal with mental dis disabilities or disorders, whether it be anxiety or depression. Um, experience, uh, she, she, her own experience kind of like spurred this um, idea of making an online source. And she just quick quote, it's amazing that kind of power that a story has. And not only does it give you an actual account of what someone went through, but health wise is good as well. Um, just some statistics on, to build on what I was saying. 90% uh, of all college students, both graduate and undergraduate, it's just, this pretty much just gives you a gist of how frequently people use the internet, college age kids use the internet, and how the access to the internet, which is the main target market, and the use of uh, getting to our their customers. Um, so the, the target our audience, 60% of the target audience is dealing with mental disorders and 70% of them not seeking the proper help. Um, you know, the kids from 14 to 21 have the highest dropout rate of any other disability group. More than 90% of children who have a mental illness commit suicide. So the younger you are uh, and the more mental issues you have, disorders that you can't really diagnose yourself and can't read stories, it, reading stories, even that's the big thing Caitlin tried to put but through other people's stories, um, to help you build, I mean, it doesn't you know, help you build on your own and make you better when it comes to dealing with issues that you don't know how to deal with yourself. And on that, she's, she's Katie, she's not going to talk about people's real life. So yeah. continuing to look at the market um, potential, we one of the key findings was that the mental illness and disabilities and gender differences, women are more likely to be diagnosed with anxiety and depression, while men are more likely to be diagnosed with um, alcohol and substance abuse. And this was a very um, profound key finding because women usually like to deal, was it was statistically proven that women like to deal with coping with these disabilities through um, uh, sensitivity and coping and writing their own stories. Mm -hmm. And it was just, you know, a key discovery when finding that Caitlin um, started this website and she wanted to share her story and in light, share her experiences to help others. And this website really does that for a whole range of mental disabilities, um, which covers topic number four, mental disabilities and websites and applications. There's many websites written by doctors and specialists, and there's even apps that have meditation music and meditation time that will try to help calm you down. But it's really hard to relate to a program, to a scientist, to a doctor, and it's easier to relate to a one-on-one -on -one story with a peer that went through something very similar, if not the same thing that you are going through. No one case is ever exactly the same, but it does help to know that you're not alone and someone else went through the same thing that you did. So um, summarizing everything that Andrew and I both just said is that when you sign up for the website, you are given a, if you enter your email, you are given a subscription, you're not required to enter your email, but if you subscribe to the website, um, you are given free three um, weekly tips that help improve your positive mindset just to keep you going throughout the week. And um, that it's a new way of learning through the website. You learn from different people's experiences from your past and you can just build from there. So some business strategies that can help this um, nonprofit grow. Uh, developing a strong audience already that's happening with the subscription. Um, and with the subscription, we're also developing
developing a community of people who enjoy reading and blogging and writing. And one thing that could be developed is an incentive program for those volunteers who, have, who don't have to, but write those stories that are very frequent users of the website and have really had an impact on their lives. So possible strategies to accomplish this goal is hosting community events, um, taking a survey of your audience and seeing what is it that they want to hear, what is it that they like. Um, personalize the weekly email to maybe the same person who's doing the substance abuse doesn't want to read the same thing that somebody who um, has anxiety or depression is going through. And now um, we'll take a look at key problems with the organization for Pokemon. Um, it's really to keep the volunteers to share their stories and cases to be uh, stable and constant and to the people who have um, issues uh, make the audience and say that uh, we will be nurtured to them shorten the distance maybe there are too uh, problems for the communication to see who has some famous people and characters who have the depression and have overcome that to bring the other person to invite people to be open to and um, next is set up new uh, strategies uh, the activity that we can uh, collaborate with the local coffee shops and to give the volunteers to share the stories to give them rewards and invite them to share more and uh, the next one is to, is to produce the usual strategies uh, we can uh, send the drink offers to the um, places where the most volunteers share their stories and uh, invite and encourage more people to uh, join us to help the work. 